we'll first of all see the distance signal for the station and after that on the left the engine shed comes into view with the first set of points for the sidings. The engine shed was in fact demolished by Loco Column Kill running into its end wall shortly after this film was taken. More recently all signs of the railway here have been obliterated by a combination of land reclamation and the construction of fish factories. Killybeg Station was fashioned into a comparatively tight space between the main street and the shoreline, hence the curve on the platform you've just seen. It was the only one of all the narrow gauge stations in Donegal that had a full overall roof or train shed, supposedly to protect passengers from the combination of rain and gales. At the far end of this shed was the water tower, which was positioned exactly where the rear terrace of the Pier Bar before its own demolition in late 2002. We see Railcar 19, having dropped off its passengers, inching along beside the water tower onto the turntable. You can actually see the square axle box holes in the girder frames that form the table itself, and these were the frames of an earlier CDR steam locomotive, scrapped some years before with the parts being re-employed as usefully as possible, a very typical approach by the management of the CDR. The railway staff then turned the rail car by hand, and there was very little room to spare. In fact, the curve in the wall forming the north side of the turntable area was still in place behind a dual telephone kiosk until late 2002. But sadly, nothing else exists of the station buildings themselves, the station having been demolished around 1980 and the last traces of the goods shed removed in the mid-1990s. The driver who brought railcar number 19 into Killybegs was Mickey Lafferty. The man in the long coat helping turn the railcar is Tommy Kenny, a railcar guard. His sister Mary was a supervisor in the Killybegs carpet factory, which we shall see in a moment. The other man in the long coat standing ready to lock the turntable into place is Cahill Kennedy, a driver who is about to take over and bring Railcar 19 back to Donegal Town. According to Joe Curran, the son of B. L. Curran, the general manager of the railway at the time of this film, we can safely assume that Railcar 19 has just done the round trip to Straban, having left Killybegs at 7.45 a.m. and set off back from Straban at 11.20 a.m. to arrive at Killybegs at 2.35 p.m. So the first driver of the day would be just about to go off duty. <laughs>